Luscious TV, where you can be sure to learn the real his and her sexual side. So get your pens and papers out to take notes because we're going to light you up with tips and tricks you don't want to miss. Not at all. So now we on the show, we only talk about what? Sex. What? Sex. What? Sex. What? Fucking sex. <laughs> sex, sex, and more sex. That's what we talk about. I am your host, Exodel Star, Exotic Rapper. A business owner, yeah. a model, host, <laughs> entrepreneur, uh, whatever. I'm everything. I'm Luscious Kisses. This is Triple S. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I want Luscious TV co host Ricky Gambini, the live guard, model, manager of Club Seduction here in Baltimore City, 6820 Eastern Avenue, sex symbol, socialite. I'm just an overall great guy, future business owner, live realtors, you know, coming soon, need some way to live, holler at me, let's get it. Okay, shoot, y'all need some way to live, y'all better holler at you, boy. Let's go. Thank you, purchase my house for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, today's uh, sex topic, we are talking about um, sure. sex and relationships, this is part two of it. Um, sometimes it's okay to switch it up and do something different and all always have to be about sex, but it's about both. It can be sex in relationships. I mean, you know, and relationships. Oh, yeah. You know, just spice some things up in the bedroom or your love life or something different about it. Just something different. I made you know. a post today on Facebook. You did? Yeah. What you and, um, let me get to it. I don't okay. take too much time. It's a nice one though. And it's funny, it's funny because I thought about it today. I said sex tip, mm-hmm. ladies and fellas. To keep from making mistakes and adding to your body count unsatisfying you, do not, I repeat, do not have sex unless you want to go all out with that person. That I don't eat pussy, I don't suck dick, or I only, I only do this position, that shit phony. It is definitely phony. If you if you about to restrict your carnal sexual desires, then maybe you shouldn't have sex with that person. Right. Last much. thing somebody wants to hear while making their move is what you don't do. Oh, I don't ride. Now, I'm not sitting having, on it. Don't ask me. I'm not sucking no dick. I don't dick. like riding. I, don't, I, don't I ain't sucking no dick short. at all. Mm-mm. No. Nah, mm-mm. I ain't sucking that. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Um, no. Y'all need to have a conversation before it gets to that point. Now, if this is a one night stand, whatever you get is whatever you get. But if we talking, we communicating, we on a few dates, 
that type shit should be explained because mm. I'm not about to whip this motherfucking dinner out and <laughs> it be phony or or you sit there and say oh what you don't do or like like me I don't kiss everybody I like kissing when I'm in a relationship you know mm. if I'm like dealing with you I like kissing but other than that me personally no I'm just not gonna be like just randomly kissing every guy that I come across and see like and it's not and this is way way beyond COVID we talking about like germs. Period. People got bad bro. People don't brush their teeth. So, so don't, fuck just, don't fuck them. Don't fuck them. Don't fuck them. But I got to feel you. If I'm feeling you and I'm feeling you from the inside on down, then you like, damn, right. I want to kiss this guy. Exactly. Ooh, That's where I'm going with yes. it. Maybe it's because I'm older now. Mm-hmm. But if I look at you and I don't feel, damn, or oh, shit. I don't want you. That's it. That's, and that's what I'm saying. If I feel like, mm, I'm just gonna go out because I just want to eat. <laughs> yeah, like I don't care about nobody walking up <laughs> to me. I'm just gonna go. I'm I don't care about no uh, yeah. compliments you're giving me right now. Hey, oh, you hair so long. I know. I grew it for ten years. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> don't catch me in that vibe. Right. Like, I like people that approach me. I appreciate. I like the confidence, but you know, accept rejection. Yeah. I don't. I'm not gonna like every woman that walk up to me because you're a woman and you have a pussy and you think that every nigga with dick is just horny. No. It ain't gonna work. I don't no. like. It. I don't <laughs> like. It. I was at the market yesterday and I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone mm-hmm. talking and this guy just come up and gonna say hi and gonna hand me his phone number and put it inside my little hand card. I said, what the hell? I'm on the phone with my husband. Now get this shit up on my shit. What's right. wrong with oh, you? Oh wow, too. Like what the fuck? I don't know, but something in the water with me. I know that's it. You gonna embarrass the show. Damn. Embarrass the bitch. Fuck it. Talk to my man on the phone and you just go come and just gonna say, ah, I'm put your phone up in my basket. And to do like this. Yeah, like, that's just, I'm like, we just gonna start the show like this. You know, we ain't young no more. I'm not taking one for no team. I'm not, yo, come on, yo, that's her sister. I don't give a fuck. That's how I'm up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm good. Like, I'm not about to do that. Like, I'm not, I'm past, I'm beyond the point where my dick is just hard for you. Oh, you just want to just talk to anybody? I you just see that I just want to put it in nah. a hole. Let's go. Nah, Mm-mm. nah. If I don't want to really fuck you, like, I'm not about to, I can't enjoy sex knowing that I'm not about to eat her pussy or I know she's not about to suck my dick or we only got two positions to work with. What's, what am I doing? I'm wasting my energy, wasting it's, my time. It's, it's I'm not about to be sad. I feel like it's a waste of time to. I'm not about I to mean, sex. you just pick and choose in what position you want to do. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do this. I don't do that. But don't when pick you put your dick in it, she's stiffing up like an honorable. Oh, I only lift my leg like this. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you better stretch. <laughs> or the famous, I only suck you better my, stretch. The famous, I only suck my boyfriend dick. But anybody can crack. So I only suck mouth. my boyfriend dick. <laughs> so your oh, mouth? No, I only suck. I only suck my boyfriend dick, but she fucking you. So your mouth is more precious than hers. That's where we at now. I'd rather you suck another nigga dick than let him fuck. Then so let a nigga fuck and say, oh no, the mouth for my man. What? <laughs> what? what? Oh my god. You god. say the mouth and your pussy for your man, sis. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sis. Mm. That dick ain't good. He might as well just get, leave that man alone, go find somebody this is else. The stuff I hear throughout my life. I was told that. The bitch told me. She only suck her boyfriend dick. These bitches is trash. This is wild. She's in a relationship with him. These oh, bitches oh. are trash. So you know, at the end of the day, it's like I don't think he's gonna be happy with him. Something he ain't doing. At this point, I don't think. I don't. At this point, I don't think he. And that's. But as as a woman, okay, if your man is not satisfying you, you need to step your shit up as a woman. And say, well, baby, look, X, Y, and Z. Okay, I need you to fix it. Right, I well, need you to fix it. I'm, all right, let me explain. But you should know from the first time you had sex with your man that is born, unless you're going to be with that man because he got a couple dollars and he's taking care of you with some shit like that. Things change. I met women that I don't, don't like anal play. Now they like it. I've turned them out into it. I've met women that um, didn't like, they didn't really like girls. Okay. Turned them out to it. That's another thing, too. Now we just we ain't even talking about none of this. Listen, we need to get into this. No, no, that's topic. What I was say. That's because another if thing we do too. not get into this topic, no, we're no, not going to make it. That's what I was getting. I was going to say that's another thing, too. But I'll talk about that later. We got sex topics and stuff to do. All right. But that was a good intro, though. We got, we got I a mean, little yeah, that, that, that definitely was. We okay. got a feisty. Go. Yeah, all right. So, of course, we are talking about sex and relationships. Mm-hmm. Sex is about respect. In a relationship, both partners are able to express their feelings and respect each other boundaries about sex. Sexual relation works best when everybody's clear about what they want and they like to do when it comes to sex. Which is what I 
with, went with the topic. My, my question that I said, my statement went with the topic so far. True. I, I feel like I did this topic before. Did we do this already? This was a long time ago. We must have did this a long time ago. I, I feel like I remember this. All right. Well, before you before you go there, uh, <laughs> this, this uh, guy had an interesting comment. Okay. Uh, he said that, okay, he didn't know you were on the phone with whoever. He saw you and he wanted to talk to you. That's the way I see it. Well, I mean, well, let me explain something to you. Not approach a woman when she's on the phone. <laughs> That's true. It's, but, yeah. it's, but my thing is, guys only look at me for one thing sex, okay? She got a big butt and she got a cute face. I'm going to try and talk to her. Or she likes skin. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, like different but shit. I'm just sitting there saying, the big butt is the most thing. It's the, the That's it. Mm-hmm. So if you got, you bust them and follow me around in the supermarket Definitely. to notice me. Do you understand what I'm saying? The then you went and took your time to go and ask her for a pen and a piece of paper to write your phone assault. number down. It definitely was. <laughs> and I felt like he was like stalking me or something in his soul, but I didn't even know this man was watching me. But I'm just sitting there saying, so I'm on the phone talking to my man who you just woke up and did like this and drop the phone number in there and then do like this. Never approach a woman. What the fuck? Never do. That's just like if I'm getting in my car, which this is always happening too. So I'm getting in my car. People walks up to my car window. I don't like that. Or walk up to me. I don't like that. I don't like that. (laughs) I just don't like that. I don't. I try not to talk to women when they're with their kids in public. I try not to approach women when they're on the phone. But I already know exactly what it is because they're looking at my ass. Yeah. So I already know what that is. Um. No. 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 Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. Get the hell out of my face, no. He's hilarious. So <laughs> Hurry, he, no. He's, 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 else yeah, he, he said, said, first he said, how you know all that you was talking on the phone? I don't know, but I do watch my surroundings. <laughs> I do watch my surroundings. With the name yeah. and number already on that piece of paper, either you are a serial phone number passer out of <laughs> Or you sat there and premeditated that you was going to give me your number. It takes mm-hmm. thought. Oh, shit. Oh, she's standing by the by the fish. She ain't leaving no time soon. Ayo, hey, Mill Japan. I'm mm-hmm. a guy. Dad, when should I get us to her? He ain't wait till you got the phone. He ain't even wait to see what kind of conversation he was having. He came in, saw no. that, slam dunked that bitch in the basket, and kept it moving. That must have been and he was a, he was like an older guy like well, he yeah. the private all right so i time. guess i guess what the the viewer is saying can you fault him for shooting his shot listen well, i'm not a, I, my thing is i'm not an ugly woman so i'm I, i'm not sitting it's there saying happen. i do get a lot of people who try to talk to me all day every day it could be social media it could be outside i could wear uh, uh, uh my head with nothing on my head a hat looking a mask Big bang clothes. I still get people trying to talk to me, but I just I don't just talk to people anybody. You can't Regardless blame if them. I'm in a relationship or not, I just don't go just talking to people because I'm I not don't present. blame them. It's I don't time. First of all, I watch a lot of scary movies. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared She's of people. Yeah. You don't know what she was talking to. She was talking to a doctor, her mother. Yeah. Was I was talking to my man. Could have been her son. She could have been whole married talking to her nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You don't know who she approaching. And every woman don't want that every day. Like, damn, you a, a man constantly or men or people holler at you all day. It can be annoying sometimes. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an ugly girl. So at the end of the day, it's, it, it, I, you understand, and I, and I got a big butt, so I'm used to it. But just every day sometimes I just be like, oh, I just need to breathe. I just don't, let me breathe. I don't want to get to my car and got to worry about me about to get ready to say something somebody's walking up to my car. Or somebody's walking and following me around in the stores. Well, it's just, I, I'm, let me just get a break one day. I just wish women take uh, being turned down a little better. When men are very aggressive. You're the ugliest bitch in the world. You turn a man down. <laughs> you ain't shit. Nigga, my swing on you. Women do the same thing. They, bitch, uh, look, I don't know. Excuse my language, but really? she is today. Bitch called me gay because I didn't want to give her my number. Oh, yeah. I, just saw stuff I like said, that damn, that's crazy. I'm, I, I'm gay because you don't turn me on. That's what you're saying. I don't care to talk to you because I know where this is going to go. You're going to want to fuck eventually, and I don't want to do that. And I don't want no friends. I don't want no female friends. Because y'all don't know how to be friends. Just like how men don't know how to be your friends. That shit corny. That shit, that shit don't work. Well, I'm not this, I, I can't I can't juggle a lot of men. and I can't do all that. That shit is a headache. 
It's annoying as fuck. I don't trials. understand how men can juggle a lot of women or women can juggle, juggle a lot of men. It's I don't like all that. Easy. Well, I don't know. I don't like it. It's a headache. It's actually pretty easy. I just want one person and that's it. That's it. Just one person, one person, one person, one dick, one person. <laughs> I'm good and I'm happy. All right, let's get into this topic. Now, I, I got to read this thing back over because just in case if all the new people just coming in and y'all watching and y'all don't understand what the, the topic is about. So I'm just going to say this one last time. Now, today's topic is, is a sex and relationship topic. Okay. Sex is, sex is about respect. In a, mm, is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> in a relationship, both partners are able to express their feelings and respect each other's boundaries about sex. Sexual relations work best when everybody is clear about what they want mm -hmm. and like when it comes to sex. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start this thing off with what does sex mean in a relationship? Man. Sex should be the full climax and cultivation of their feelings mm -hmm. and desires for each other. I've had sex. I've had one night stands where it was a lust filled and very, very intense. Mm -hmm. As soon as I bust that third nut or whatever got me out the gate, I didn't give a fuck about the bitch no more. You go ahead about your business. Hey. I'm going to put my clothes on the leave or you put your on the leave, however we orchestrate the way we mm -hmm. But when you're with someone mm -hmm. and that shit is just what it is and it connects to what it becomes, it's wonderful. Especially when you're done and you hold it and you're looking at it like, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So okay. sex is very, very, very important and very strong and has a very great connection relationship. Y'all can just be sitting there whole beef. As soon as y'all fuck, y'all right back at the love again. Y'all apologize and don't even know what y'all Y'all forgot the fuck y'all was arguing. <laughs> you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes, that's the makeup sex. Makeup sex is the best sex. So yeah, sex is very highly rated and very highly suggested to be on the same tip and on the same point. Yeah. So I say sex means different things to different people and what it means to you might be having a big effect on your relationship when um, couples are having problems. Sex is one of the major issues. Shout out to Andre. He's very interactive with it. That's mm -hmm. his name, right? Yep. Yeah. Very, we definitely getting a shout out to him. He's very interactive with yeah. it. Shout out to my man Andre. It does depend on what type of relationship. You have different types of ships. You have fuck ships, situation ships, sneaky links. You got all types of shit, but you need to know where you're at and whatever relationship you have so that you can learn to control yourself, your body, and mm -hmm. your goddamn pussy or dick. Because mm -hmm. um, women are out here fucking niggas that are in really full-fledged relationships, and they get caught up in their feelings. Idiot. Wow. Men do the same thing. Men, are, men, men create relationships men in their head. Out having sex with any before. other females. I mean, like I said, if you don't want to be in a relationship with that female no more, then you just get rid of her and you go be a whole do your thing. Then create relationships <laughs> in their head. I'm just sitting there saying. And I don't know why. The HDMI is coming out. Um, they do that, and I don't know why. The fuck up like that before. What, create a relationship in your head that didn't go? I mean, away? yeah. I was like, some, she was in a whole relationship. Yeah. Okay. But you got caught up in her I shit. I got caught up. Yeah. That happened to me before. Mm. Fucked up. Looking back on the other side, like, yo, you was dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, but sometimes that shit happens. So, yeah. you know. I have a, I have a, a ex, I have an ex that I took from a dude, and I wish I never did that. It never works out. Nah, it never don't. Works out. Don't. It never works out. Cause now it's like, damn, all that time you was sliding. I'm, I'm laying next to you. You just lying to the nigga. Now you look at him like, so who have you been lying? About? <laughs> who have you been lying about to me? <laughs> You get what I'm yeah, saying? So if, you uh, did it, if you did it to me, if you did it to him, you definitely gonna do it to me. And it wasn't even her being slick. It was that nigga being dumb. <laughs> he was just a dumb nigga. You know what I'm saying? So the next, the next one. Does sex strengthen a relationship? Sex can be the reason why you hesitate to let go of a relationship. Mm -hmm. I can't say it strengthens it because it needs to be a part of it. Period. Right. You can't. You're not about to tug a war. Well, he does all this for me, but the dick phone. But <laughs> you know what I'm he pays all my bills. But but, but he's, let's dick a little. <laughs> or he don't satisfy me. But he pays all your bills, bitch. Nah, uh, I, was, I was in a tug of war like that. I was in a tug of war like that. At the end of the day, he can pay all the bills he wants. 
I was in the tug of war like that, my ex. <laughs> I'd rather live. I'd rather have. Oh, I'd rather make fifty thousand a year and have the best sex and the, and my best friend in my life than to have a million dollars and I gotta cheat on this bitch every other day because she can't do nothing for me to live. And I say that because. But but my thing but my thing right. is when well, I was in that head. tug of war situation with my past, I didn't even cheat. I didn't even cheat. I was born in the at the bedroom. Was definitely born. It was definitely born. Um. It was definitely born. Well, for me, it was definitely born. So I didn't what's like. What's happening right now? Huh? What's happening right now? I'm just saying. <laughs> I was just thinking like it was definitely born. Like, ugh. See, but point. it was like one of them talking about things. Like, then he paid all the bills. He paid the whole the mortgage in the house. He paid all the bills. He get the keys. So you gave him the benefit of that doubt. Okay, he's tired. He's a hardworking man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna stick it in. I'm gonna stick it. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick through with this guy. You know what I'm saying? She and the reason I made that, that, that I guess that's what she did. The reason I, I made that comparison, I'd rather make fifty thousand a year and have my best friend and the best sex of my life versus making five hundred thousand a year and being pissed off when I go home or hoping I put her to sleep so I can go fuck another bitch. But see, my thing, but see, my thing was it, it wasn't it wasn't about the sex thing with us. You understand what I'm saying? You it, was really like, love it. it was deep. It was it was yeah. it was much deeper than than the sex, even though it was born. Mm-hmm. Trust me, it was born. But um. It was it just it was much much deeper than than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so. If you yeah. got a guy, you feel secure. But sex is definitely everything in a relationship. It's definitely it everything it in a be. relationship. But it gotta be because that's what separates y'all. From and and that's how they made vibrators. <laughs> Vibrate made me happy. And so I say sex is more than just a physical act. It is a tool that can help your relationship physically, mentally, and emotionally. Discover. The many ways uh, an a- active sex life can strengthen your relationship mm-hmm. with your partner. So next, what is love in a relationship? Uh, love is a combination of trusting, communicating, loyalty, and respect. Can you say that real loud so they I, can hear that? I believe love is in a, a combination mm-hmm. in a relationship is a combination of Communication. Y'all hear that? Trustworthiness, loyalty, and respect. Right. Those are the four aspects of true love in a relationship. Mm-hmm. If you can fully communicate with your partner, if you can if you can fully trust your partner, loyalty and trust are two totally different things. I hate when people try to say they're loyal to this, loyal to that. Loyal don't mean, oh, I'm not going to cheat on, I'm not going to fuck another bitch. That has nothing to do with loyalty. Right. Loyalty is, this is my word. Mm-hmm. I told you five years ago I was going to take care of you, protect you, and we we're going to build it and create something. If I stuck to that, I'm loyal. If you're the first person I look to for help, I'm loyal. If you're the first person that I help, mm-hmm. you're loyal. If you look at me as your number one get to, I need to stand up and help you. Right. Show my loyalty. Right. If I get a million dollars, you're the first motherfucker I'm thinking about making sure it's good. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's what loyalty is. Right. Loyalty isn't, oh, I'm not going to fuck another bitch. That's trust and communication. That's right. a situation y'all need to get rid of before you think about any type of rules. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, right. So I say a relationship is composed of many things. Friendship, mm-hmm. sexual attraction, um, and of course, <clears throat> love is the glue that keeps a relationship strong and solid. Mm-hmm. It's just many of things that um, well, basically, like you just said, because <laughs> I got stuck. <laughs> love is everything in a relationship. Love on. feels amazing when you are in love. It feels definitely amazing. What is sex with? What What is a relationship without sex? Oh, we all platonic. The fuck? Platonic. P L A T O N I C. We're friends. Howdy, partner. Daps and hugs. See you tomorrow. We can hang out, and get some drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck that means. We ain't fucking. We friends. That's my nigga. Well, I feel like this, ladies. You cannot be in a relationship with somebody and just fuck your man once a month or twice a month, or you fuck him whenever you feel like you just skip months, like, and then y'all wonder why y'all man go out and go cheat and you all. If you can that, go a month without fucking your partner, oh no, that's a problem. I'm already fucking somebody. Else. That's a problem. I'm about to listen. I ain't with the cheating shit. But if I have a relationship and we don't fuck for a month, I'm not gonna be in it. Got me fucked. Up. I'm not gonna be in it. I'm like, look, this is I not working. I got my side bitch lined up and she obeying all the rules. 
Oh, Hell, he's crazy. Crazy. I, I don't know, but I'm I feel like this. I'm just if we I'm Ooh, laying wow. up together, we both irritated and upset with each other. I don't give a fuck if you man, bitch, you better put that dick inside of me. I'm hurry. I don't care. Well, I'm being in a relationship and don't have sex, that's why I don't fuck a relationship. If somebody's gonna go out and cheat. I'm so you might as well just break up. Yeah, we done. So I say intimacy is about we done. If I go two weeks without some sex, we done. Intimacy is about creating and maintaining a relationship. It is a, it's an important part of a relationship with or without sexual intercourse. You can maintain an intimacy without sex just by touching each other. I mean, still, ain't no relationship without no sex. Sex means sex plays a whole lot of part in a relationship. I like cousins. Cuddling is amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Cuddling is. Like, we I, like, movie, I like I like cuddling too. Like if we land in the bed, I put my leg on you and shit like that. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, like I, I think that's like one of the best feelings ever when you are cuddling. When I'm driving, I'm yeah. like behind on your thigh. On your thigh. That that that's that's intimacy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you showing affection. I like affection, so I like that. I like the holding hands. I like, the, I like the cuddling. I like the kissing. I like the touching. The touching will the touching will drive a person crazy. It's, and, and we got places in our bodies that we don't even even know exist that feels good when you touch it. You understand what I'm saying? A woman might want her neck rub or back part of her back, and you just touching her and it just like make her body like jump like a chill. Yeah, like just affection. Like it's nothing wrong with that. Can a relationship survive without intimacy? We already said that. No. So, and I say relationships needs intimacies, regardless of whatever is a physical or emotional thing, your relationship will slowly die without it. Period. <laughs> Period, poo. <laughs> <laughs> it is done. I don't give a fuck what you say. Bitch, if you're not giving that man no pussy, no heat, no jerk off, no feet jerking, no arm jerking, no on it or nothing, you're done. I've He's going to go. I've He's going to go. Boring women that didn't care for any of that. And I mean, it I, is a lot of women out here don't like really having sex. They don't like sex. They're not big on the whole affection thing. And guess that how, too. And guess how long we lasted? Probably two, three sexual encounters. That's all you're getting from me. I'm not even taking you out on a date. I'm if you're not even getting that many. The pussy was actually cool. It actually surprised me that she's not into that shit because it was she would be a great partner for a motherfucker. My thing is, if this is me, mm -hmm. people people wonder, what's damn, Rick, you had all these women. Who do who who do you choose to take on dates? How do you choose who to do this? I go by connectivity. I hate shy women. I hate it. If you even say the word shy when you're giving your description to me, I'm turned off. <laughs> I hate women that that allow their past to continue to determine how they interact with other motherfuckers. I'm totally different. But sometimes people gotta let let go of the past. Like me, you know, I'm so tired of this past shit, but I don't let that define me. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta let the past go. If you met me on social media, let it go. You need to do your research. You're right. gonna see pictures, you're gonna see what I'm involved in, you're gonna see I like being open, I like being seen, I talk, I'm very eccentric. I don't hide the fact that I'm affectionate. A lot of guys do because they want that tough provider shit. But, uh, I don't put that shit the fuck down because I, I mean, I'm not. I don't want to be with a man that's boring. Right. I don't want a boring ass man. Certain I don't want a dry women. ass man. I want a man that like to be litty kitty like me. I want a man that's showing a love exactly. and affection like me. Certain men that's have no what? fucking business howling at you. Certain women have no fucking business howling at me. They're nothing like what we like. Period. They can't handle us. Like, okay, you got niggas. They don't like people looking at their girl. So why would you get a woman with a big butt? Big titties and a pretty face. Some guys don't like women to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they're chauvinistic. Yet you belong in the house, wash the dishes, doing. So why are you talking to a woman like her? Some women don't like their guy to be flirty or to be social or to be known. So why are you talking to me? Why do you feel like I'm the one that you should deal with? Bitch, well, you know, I, no, crazy I don't, want, I don't want my man to be flirty. Hell no. It's not about being flirty. But right? for instance, what's flirting to you? Conversate with females. Why can't I 
have a conversation with a female. Why? Why? Why would you? If, if you my man, why would why would I want my man? My man would want me to have conversation with other men. Okay, for instance, I work in the club. Well, if you if you deal with me, and you walk in yeah, the club, that's why you're talking to a female, right? But that's probably you why you automatically think it's because right because some women just can't take whatever they. If they think everything in competition. If I'm talking to a bitch about how much a drink costs in the club, and you get offensive, I mean that's that's not, that's something. That's not you don't know like, what we're talking about. You could be no. Well, you could be fifty feet away and see her give me her phone. Do you really think I'm about to get her number? Listen. You don't think she want my 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 business line? You don't think she asked about the club? You don't think she asked about all the other shit that I do? First of all, first of all, first of all, if yeah. you can't handle that, you shouldn't be talking to somebody like me. Wow. That, and that's why you're single because there's certain boundaries when it comes to certain different things. No, you shouldn't even behave in a conversation. We, if we out and you're talking club business to another bitch, it, it what? No, Period. That what no, saying. that's not what I said. I said if I was at the club and you saw me talking to a female, that means you're working. Is you tell me if you're working, yeah, exactly. but you're, you're a club manager, so that's something different, exactly. That's what I said at the beginning of the conversation. Oh, well, get out of here. I'm not about to stop and talk to no bitches if we out in the movies. I'm out with you. You, I'm, I'm not about to. You a club manager. I'm Your job is to talk to people. Right. Period. But I'm not. If, if I know that we're out together, say we Christmas shopping, I'm cutting conversation short. Oh, hey, Ricky, don't you? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you see me out with my people at the house. You like, hit me on the book or something. You know what I'm saying? You got to have control over what's going on. I'm not about to pull up and have a full blown 30 minute conversation with nobody. I'm out with my woman. Like, that's disrespectful. Right. You got to catch me in my. I'm in, banging in everybody in the mouth in the mouth. You got to catch Boop. me in the right environment. Boop. But Boop. what I was saying was. Certain people have no business certain trying to talk to certain motherfuckers. You can't handle what they got going. You can't handle this. Just like I know you saw that shit that's going around with that fifty-one year old guy that was talking to that girl with the kid, and she was talking about she wanted a six-figure guy to take care of her, and she believes mm-hmm. that. Wow, it's a real big thing. You seen it, right? Mm-hmm. It's a real big thing on the internet. I can see it. It's a seven-minute clip of a uh, 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 average, averagely dark-skinned woman. Okay. And she was on a relationship show. Trying to get advice from a 51 year old, six digit wealthy guy. And he told her. She bled. Yes. Yeah. She okay. said, I think it's time for me to go ahead and just get me a boss nigga. I want a six digit nigga with this and that. Yeah, she, she said, Oh, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And you got a kid, right? Yeah. You single? Yeah. Where your baby father at? Oh, well, he comes around here and there. What kind of work you do? Oh, I do this, I do that. You don't even know where to go to find a nigga you just described. You get what I'm saying? He broke down everything to her. Like, okay, if you wash your face right now on a scale of one to ten, how do you think you look? And don't say seven. Right. Because everybody thinks seven is average. No, five is average. Right. She said five. We make up on a six. When she said that, I all right. I said, oh, maybe she do tell the truth. Some of them lie like a motherfucker. He broke it down to her like, yo, how are you gonna say you want this and that when you don't have the qualifications yourself to deal with that? You get what I'm saying? It's not about Self-esteem at this point, it's really about what you got going on. You make 30000 a year, you got a kid, you just got off of whatever it is you're doing, whatever job you got, you probably was getting government assistance. Cool, not saying you're a bum, you know what the fuck you need to do. But if a nigga that's paying, that only make 50000 come across and he really care about you, but you're going to push him off because he don't make enough money, bitch, you're struggling with what you got. That 50000 plus your 30 would have made you a decent living. You want a six-digit guy, where are you going to find him? What do you have that will make him even like you? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's the same situation for somebody like us. We're in the industry. Mm-hmm. We're known. We're being around people. Mm-hmm. We have an image that the average person don't have. So why would the average person that, have, that has no idea how this works try to deal with us? You get what I'm saying? Sure. Like they say. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I said I, I didn't have. Um, I had issues in my relationship with people couldn't handle being with me handle, because sure. of who I am. Couldn't handle sex. They couldn't handle my lifestyle. Right. That's, you know, that's where I'm getting. So at. and I had to pick and choose before, like, do you want your lifestyle? Do you want happiness? And a lot of times I had picked my lifestyles because mm-hmm. this is my bread and butter. This is how I eat. And then I always wanted to be a famous person. So um, this is what I hit. But then a lot of the times I was always messing with females because I felt like females understood me more than a man did. But then I hated being with females because it just was like, oh, is I'm it really like difference? myself. Is it really a difference? <laughs> Oh, messing with a female than a man? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You mean emotionally? All that. It just that we, it, I it just, I wouldn't go back messing with females. I mean, if you ask me that, I would never do that one again. I'm, mm-mm. Gotcha. No. All right, so this last little one, we already discussed it. Do you think people can be happy in a sex, in a sexless relationship? And we already said 
No. If I'm like 79, 80 years old. I'm pretty old, sure people at 80 still fucking. With a heart condition. Masturbating somewhere. And, and, jerking and, and infertility. Yeah, I'm going to have, have a great time knowing somebody's still right here that I can talk to <laughs> <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Shit. But you talk to 33-year-old Ricky, you ain't trying to do what? Oh. Huh. No. Huh. <laughs> You're but I, I, like, like I said, that's how people go out and go cheat because it, it nine times out of ten, it don't even be it don't even be the men that want to have sex. It be the women. I'm with all that. I can't. They wait. don't want to have sex with their man. I can't wait. I I don't understand that part either. Get home. Sex is a beautiful thing. If I, if if I had that when it's a when you when you got that one person and y'all together and y'all both the sex is good. He good. She good. The, the affection, the love, the the dick, the pussy, whatever you want to call it, all that is good. That should make you want to fuck every goddamn day or every chance you fucking can get. You like fucking rabbits. You like fucking dogs. You can't stop fucking each other. I love when I deal with somebody and I look at them. I love being attracted to my eyes. And I just mm-hmm. still get that flair that I got the first day I'm there. Like, it's still That's, like. You talking about like that little bubble gum? It's, it's what we call it, like a high school crush butterflies. kind of thing. Little bubble flies. Bubble flies. I said the bubble flies. That's what I call them the bubble but flies. But no, you look. But you like, really get the bubble flies. You really the looking at them flies. like, damn, she looks so fucking good. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, I do too. And yeah. that means like you turned on by that person. Like, damn, I can't wait to. And I tell people. He come home. So I when I deal with people, I tell them like, yo, please tell me if I ever stop turning you on. I will. I need to fix it. There's something I need to fix. Communicate. Right. Communication. Right. All that. Mm-hmm. What Beyonce say? I can't wait to turn that kitty up, turn that kitty up, turn that kitty up. That's my song. I, I want you to turn that kitty up. I love looking at who I do it and be like, yeah, yeah. That's that's that good shit. That's that good shit. That good shit make you feel like like, damn, I gotta have it all the time. Like I'm addicted to it. Like you know. That's how I knew it was over for me. Yeah. With my, the, the little situation I had. Yeah. But I looked at her and I just was like, nah. You ain't going to be able to do it. Yeah, like. <clears throat> because you are a sexual person. You're not going to be able to do it. You cannot I mean, be everything in a sexless relationship and be happy. Sexless, the attitudes, you, the, it's too much. You, and, but you just I'm, turned off at this point. And yeah, you're going to be, you're going to have an attitude every fucking day. You be wanting to bang this bitch. Everything she's saying is going to be irritating you. And you're going to be like, the fuck, I ain't going to be able to do this. I packed up my shit when she went to work. I knew it was over. I said, I, I, I slept on the couch for three weeks before, before I left. That's how I knew it was over. At that point, and you still ain't getting none. I didn't. I didn't want it. You ain't want it. You was want it. you was already at that point turned the fuck yeah, off. You yeah, was yeah. like, I'm done. Yeah. Let me just figure this shit out real quick yeah. and just ease my ass out the door. That's how you like, know it's over. Like, yeah. As a man, if your man coming out and just disregards the fact that you're in the bed, don't even acknowledge you. You can be naked and only want to touch you. He ain't even saying whatever, hi to you. Whatever transpired. Like, yeah. That that shit tough. That's tough. Cause that, that's what I'm sitting there saying. It's all in the fucking woman. It's all in the woman. It's all in the woman. Like y'all got a lot to bear. Oh my y'all god, though. But that's why I say it's. I'm I'm just glad that I am a sexual woman and I won't have that issue in my bedroom with my man because at the end of the day I'm always going to be turned on. It ain't. It's not going to be not a minute, not a doubt that I'll be like, mm, yeah, mm. You ain't getting no boring <laughs> drown on the board over here. <laughs> Bitches be on the board like a motherfucker, stiff as shit. They don't know, man. <laughs> Wake your stiff asses up. I better read this. Nobody y'all some tips in a minute. So I say it's really people or couples out there who don't desire sex. Yeah. Sex to them isn't important, and they ain't happy without having sex at all all the time. And they belong together. Yes, they do. All y'all. All the ones who don't get like to have sex and get the fuck out. And go way. ahead. So and that, y'all, so people who do like having sex can be with each other. Y'all can sit y'all minimal sex having asses down. Yes. Yeah. And they may have sex maybe twice or once a month, if that. And they're happy with that. And they probably got like three kids. Probably do. Or probably got one. Or probably ain't got none. But the, the the fact that the matter is sex plays a real big part in a relationship. It plays a major part. Ain't no man I could want to be with a woman who's not showing no no no, no nothing. Down, I've Ain't no woman that could want to be no man that's not giving her no love and affection too. It plays a it plays a it plays a part it, both parts. I've turned down plenty yeah. of women that said sex isn't that isn't a big deal to me. Oh, okay. So how often this is the last one? Not calling call. you again. So how often <laughs> should a couple have sex? 
That's see, people ask that question a lot. Right. You can't really go. A lot of average. people want to know like people have different lifestyles, mm -hmm. people have different uh, work schedules. My thing is this. Sex needs to be had at least once a week. I don't give a fuck how busy you are. Once a week? No, 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 no. I say at least. Okay. Uh, because yo, I know people that are working ambulant. They're, they're going EMTs. To school, having they children. Work four straight days. Yeah, a yeah, week yeah. and are yeah. off three days and then yeah, you work true. three longer days and then you're off four. Right. Then you got people that COs. They might be on salary, so they work a regular eight hours. Right. Then you got some that they gotta work doubles, they gotta work overnight. Doctors. Work. They gotta do this. Doctors okay. ain't been home in a week. Celebrities flew out for two months. You get what I'm saying? Then they come home. So try. I don't give a fuck what kind of schedule you have. Try to have sex once or twice a week. At least. To save, to save your relationship, to save your sanity. I'm, I'm a busy motherfucker. I like to fuck, though. I'm going to fuck. I'm going to make sure that I have time to have sex. Why? Because I don't beat my dick. So that alone is a buildup of sexual uh, non nonsense to me. So couples, find time to have sex. You can't put an average time on it. But at least once or twice. Even if it's a please, quickie. Please, Even if it's a quickie. something. You know, if y'all sleep together that night, right. fuck, fuck. It can be a quickie. Fuck. If y'all in the kitchen, y'all just playing around the kitchen, just bend it over real quick, put it on the counter, yep. put it in. And if it lasts five minutes, ten minutes, so what? You you got it all. Now I have friends. I don't know how they do it. Five kids. You got an oldest that just ain't well yet. <laughs> it's like a two year old running around with some somewhere in between two and nineteen running around the house, and I'm over there. Trying, I can't smoke a blunt. You know, because the kids running around. I can barely talk to my man about the game because the kids is screaming. The wife is over. I'm just like, damn. How y'all can do it, right? I don't know how y'all do it. I'm going to go ahead and leave. Hopefully, <laughs> by me leaving, y'all can have some time to fuck. Because right. I know you're not getting it. I know you're not. I know you're not. Sometimes some people find a way when they do have children. That I'm just saying, I had to find a way too when mine was little. So, I mean, I'm quite sure people find ways to do it. Right, so we can move on to luscious sex tips, ways to help yourself to, to better a sex life. So love yourself naked. A woman or man, but most likely a woman, because <laughs> men really don't really yeah, don't worry about their fuck. personal appearance at men all. Be women like Bigfoot yeah. trying to get online and tell women how they should look. Yeah, yeah pretty that much. So I say a woman look at herself, her eyes go straight to her problem areas, and she carries the same feelings into her bedroom. She thinks she's fat. So to boost your body confidence up, give yourself a reality check. Look around at all the attractive women who are. <laughs> Use a variety of different shapes and sizes. Stand in front of the mirror naked and focus on your favorite features. <laughs> then touch yourself all over. Also ask yourself, um, what, or ask your mate, what do he love about your body? I know women, y'all have, um, some self-conscious about yourself when you are a big woman or a person who just had a baby and you know they got stretch marks and titties all flabby saggy and you got fat one man who just got fat all over the big fofa some skinny woman that got anorexia looking at you know bodies i mean at the end of the day love yourself regardless of what you look like so just look at yourself in the mirror and make yourself feel sexy like feel sexy for yourself like love yourself love your body love your body uh, work on it love your body I got a thing for older women, right? So this is older shit mm -hmm. I was dealing with um, not too long ago. And I hated that when we fuck or when she's naked or even when she sleeps, she puts a, she wraps a towel around the upper part of her body. Okay. She has very she has big titties, a fat butt, everything. Like big lips, everything. She's a beautiful woman. That's probably right. she probably comfortable she sleeping like that. Like I like sleeping in a t shirt. No, she had a box titty job. Oh. So she hates her titty. I'm like, they're not bouncing around, nothing like that. They sit up. It's just that they're a little, you know, off kilter. And I don't mind it. it. No, it's like a slight lopsided. Okay. Too. So one of them is a, no, no, yeah. not much of them. So I'm cool with it, though. I'm letting her know, hey, you know, I'm trying to be the guy, you know, making her comfortable, helping her esteem. That shit ain't work. <laughs> Long story short, that shit ain't work. That towel goes everywhere she goes. And I have to accept that. Right. You know, after a while, a man can do but so much to help a lady's esteem. Well, trust and lead us. I had uh, one of my old co-hosts. She was always like the quiet and shy one. 
um, Lisa. Shout out to Lisa. She was quiet. She was shy. And she wouldn't is, show any body parts or nothing. She started being around me. And I got her confidence. And honey, she actually with her little lingerie. Top, top, she was showing man. little stuff. Wasn't she diamond? Okay. Took her little dress. I had little wigs on. I said, oh, but you better work. Okay, she started feeling comfortable with herself and her body. And I had to tell her, like, you know, get in front of that mirror. It's like I tell all the women, get in front of that mirror and look at look yourself. At look at yourself. I look at myself every day. And I'm not the same because I got body parts. So I just, I, I, I love the way my body looks. Exactly. People say, you know, damn, you know, when they got the money working out and that bitches, bitch, bitches, bitches. This ain't for no bitches. I'm a man. I should, I feel like I should be the biggest, strongest. Best looking motherfucker I can be. I, I don't, don't look like this. Nothing family. wrong with you want to yeah, look like. I, I want to like this because I want to look like this. I want to look like right. this because of bitches. That's like saying, "Oh, let's just got this done because of niggas." She want. No, niggas. I did not. She got. She she looks the way she looked because that's how she wants to look. I actually got my stuff done because of my career. <laughs> right, and you because wanted to career. look a certain way, and I wanted to look a certain way. I definitely wanted to look a certain way. Like I love tattoos. Mm -hmm. I wanted um I wanted bigger breasts mm -hmm. and I wanted a bigger booty. I love blonde hair. Right. I like looking different from everybody. I don't like looking like everybody. If you go and around, I you see everybody with black hair. Or you see everybody with the same look and looking like the same. I don't like looking like the same. That's why I always stand out because I look different. And I was told that I, I'm handsome. So I want to keep it up. And I started fighting. And in order to really, you know, feel like a fighter, you need muscles. Then I started modeling. So I'm going to keep these muscles. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's a combination of everything. Absolutely. You build yourself up to look a certain way because... I'm 33. If you double that, I'm 66. You think I look like this at 66? Nope. I'm well, I'm gonna look like this at 80. I wanna keep, I wanna keep everything. <laughs> double my shit on 40. Can. And I look like this at 40. I look like this at 40. I wanna keep all this as long as I can. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm I look trying to look like 40. the man version shit. <laughs> of this at 40 that you do. Yeah, and the woman version thank of you. Thank you. I look good at 40. All right, Max, give yourself time. As you age, your sexual response slows down. That is true. Sometimes Shit, you get like a, you get, you you get a little. Yeah, you you understand? What I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes people reach their sexual peak at we, a late age. But old. I'm just saying this is the research I have. So understand that the physical changes in your body means that you need more time to get aroused and reach your orgasm. So like I said, it's two different things. You can either reach your peak at an older age, or you cannot get one. Mm, and it may take you a little bit longer to reach an orgasm. You understand? I'm saying that's why, ladies, I always keep telling y'all, have a vibrator. Have a vibrator. Women, start <laughs> changing your diet as you get older. Get you a vibrator. Fellas, start changing your diet. And, and women, too. And I tell you all the time, drink start a lot of water. Out. Drink, drink, a, lot drink of water. a gallon of water get every day. And, and, and get, get that blood flowing you know, down. Get your dick hard. Your blood flow. You want to know what makes your blood flow? Run it. Lifting mm. spices, certain foods. Y'all gotta look this shit up. Don't wait till you're 45 and start trying to dig it up. I've been digging this shit up since I'm. Don't wonder why y'all be taking Viagra. Yeah, now you gotta, now you gotta take Viagra and hopefully you can shoot some fucking roids or something. No, get yourself together. You ain't gonna need that shit. Change the way you eat, work out, and get yourself together. And and drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water. Water also plays a part in everything. Use lubrication. Sometimes women needs a little bit, little bit of lubrication. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. With using it, some women goes through a dry period. Everybody ain't got that or splashy they just woo -woo. not physically turned on. I mean, I feel like this. Um, sometimes a woman just don't be turned on by a man, or a man just not doing something to make them turn on. Mm -hmm. So y'all men have to do a little bit more to turn a woman on in order for her to get aroused. Like we can get you aroused all day long. You think be hard as shit, but I could you be dry as fuck. You got to do some loving affection, some touching, some kissing, eating a pussy. It's nothing wrong with eating pussy. Eating pussy is nothing wrong with it. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Suck her titties. Suck all on her neck. Like, touch her. Like, turn her little, on. You wonder why a woman is giving you a dry ass, carpet ass pussy because she's not even turned on. And then ladies, sometimes they also play with y'all dry. Let me tell you, y'all little dry asses need to drink some water. We always keep talking about this. Hennessy does not keep the Yo. pussy wet. All right. Vodka do not keep the pussy wet. If you drink that gallon of water a day, sis, you will not have no issue with your vagina 
being wet. And let me tell you a couple of products you can also use. V-Steam your pussy. That also helps um, keeping the Regina moist and stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff that's out there that can help you. But like I said, ladies, there's nothing wrong with using k -Rock. If you want to ump it up just a little bit, you know, it's nothing wrong no with name. it. But I took this very, very, very well-known local woman out on a date. All this bitch wanted to do was drink it. Mm. She mm. ate like five for her french fries. That was the fries she ordered. And the whole rest of the hen. Fast forward, we about to fuck. The head was foam. Mouth was dry. I offered her some water. She said she <laughs> good. She want no water. Bitch, you need some water. Your mouth feels dry. It's fun. It feel like you rubbing your dick on a carpet. I put the fingers down there to get the the, the clit stimulated. Dry as a bitch. Mm -hmm. So long story short, she already naked. I'm still kind of fully clothed. I pull out the motherfucking uh, what what lubrication was I? Astro Glide or something. Oh, uh, I said don't don't say that high cold shit. Get that bitch on you and back. She don't fucking burn her coochie off. I pulled out the Astro Glide. Mm -hmm. You know she got to an argument with me about the fact that she don't need no lube. Oh. First of all, bitch, you should have told her to put her hands down there and feel it. First of all, <laughs> I just put my fingers in your pussy and they still look like this. Oh. First of all, second of all, oh. your pussy <laughs> smell like like you spilled some honey on your lap. Second of all, uh, oh. Thirdly, bitch, you cactus jack dry and you gonna sit here and get mad at me because I pulled out some Astro Glide. Oh. We got to an argument. Long story short, she went the fuck home. Bye. Okay, well, bye, bitch. And a dry ass pussy. Bitch, pop out biscuit pussy. <laughs> so the mm -hmm. next one is maintain physical affection. Even if you're tired, tense, or upset, still engage in kissing and cuddling. Sometimes <laughs> sex can make you feel better or change your mood. Yeah. Period. Hell yeah. Practice touching. Try massaging each other with lotion or baby oil. Oh, Oh, I love massages too. Oh my god! And lady, y'all know this. Y'all know this. This is so funny. When you go over guy house, and he be let me give you a massage. So you know, a massage is always turning to. It's dick me out three minutes. <laughs> it turns into sex. Can't even get past the blow back. No, you can't. <laughs> you be ready to fuck. Well, y'all ladies know that. All right, try different positions, okay? And we listen. We're not talking about one position and two position, bitches. Okay, try different positions. Different sexual positions not only as it's mm. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me, not only adds to love making, but can also overcome problems. Try different positions. I'm sorry, my I think my throat dry. I think I might need some water. <laughs> it's all over the place. You got water all over this place. I do. <laughs> I want all the floors on the tables. Mm. Okay, so next. Try it. Okay, I said that. Use a vibrator. You know, it's my favorite thing. Right, Open to toys. Sex toys can help a woman learn about her own sexual desires and also allow her to show her partner what she likes and what turns her on. And I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to leave you with... No, let me... Before we get out of here, I definitely want to say something because men be so... They be like some punk asses. They think... Oh, I don't want my woman using a vibe. I don't want to use no toys. There's nothing wrong with playing with toys in the bed. Now, say for instance, you want her to try anal. Y'all like anal play too. So you fucking her in her vagina and you put the little vibrate. I mean, you know, the little dildo on her butt. You know, it's different things you can do. You can eat up pussy with fuck her. With your dick in her vagina, put the vibrate on it. It helps. See, the problem, it helps. The problem it with helps. a lot of men when it comes to toys for the mm -hmm. woman is that nigga, these men that these days, you motherfuckers think y'all God's gift. Oh, right? God. They need to let that pride You go. motherfuckers think y'all know exactly what y'all doing in the bedroom. You motherfuckers are giving out seven minutes of mediocre denial to a woman that really, really, really wants a lot more. You have some people that are masters at giving head. You have some that can really beat a fucking pussy off the bitch. You have some that don't know when to do it. All right. And you have some that do it to show off and it's not consistent. But I'm just saying, I just so, don't think it's nothing wrong with using so any toy. When a toy comes, right? I don't even. But when a toy comes into play, for most men, they feel intimidated or they feel like you're uh, talking down on. Oh, but I'm not doing I'm something not good right. Enough I'm for not you. good enough. That's for why you. I get. That's why you ain't coming. I get you here because you so desensitized from using the vibrator so much. No, you mm -hmm. just wasn't doing it right. But see, some women don't like coming off of here. I mean, like, like me, I'm just like a nigga. If I come off of here, if I come off of here, I'm done. I'm going to be. Got me fucked up. I'm done. I'm done. 
the party just started. I'm done. So I'd rather be I'd rather be aroused and my clitoris hard. So by the time you put that dick in, the pussy already jealous because she already nice and flowy and wet. She ready to go. You understand what I'm saying? You fucking get, suck a bitch click and she fucking busting now. She done. She, yeah, she done. She gonna fucking move. They, they, that they, feeling is gone. They think you talk. They think you, you, you oh, I ain't good enough. Or, that's why your shit don't work now because you're using that. No, nigga. Y'all gotta understand that if you do what you're doing, plus that, like me, like I love when I'm I'm long stroking and I take the vibrator and put it on her clip while I'm doing it. They come every time. It Splashy. Come. They ain't know they can squirt. They probably, they a lot. Yep. Yep. They yep. Ain't know. yep. Because yep. you scared to do both or you probably can't. Right. Some guys can't focus on everything. They can't right. do it. Some guys right. tell you, I can't do it. I can't focus. Right. right. Period. That's so right. y'all, we didn't, we didn't get y'all some tips. Yeah. So and y'all need to listen. So women and men, listen. Just a please. quick summary. Please. Have sex. If you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. have some sex. Have come sex. To, come to sex. an agreement. Have <laughs> a meeting. Have sex. Figure your shit out. Send nudes. Send sexual memes. And There's that's nothing so wrong with that. Stuff. You all that porn you look at, send a link to your girl. Yeah. See if she with it. How perfect. How much y'all for a toy? Where, sis, try different things. Wear yeah, something sexy. Going. Try different wigs. Put some makeup on. Look like a whole different bitch. Oh, you want another bitch? Let me go here and look like Batty. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go look like Susie the next day. Suck and the next day we'll be talking. Roll up or something. Do something different. There's so much stuff. You can use a grapefruit. Shit. Pull the ring light out. It's Make a, a video. Man. Oh, yeah. You could do all kinds of things. You and ladies, yeah, it's nothing wrong sex. with sending your man new pictures while he at work. Communicate. Get him something to come home to. Learn to love. Yes. Communicate. Please talk. And fellas, learn to like toys in the bed. Y'all like y'all want your bitch to have enough girl in the bed, then learn to like toys. Women, boost your man's ego. Yes. Men, boost your woman's yes. self esteem. Yes. Stop talking down to your woman. Stop getting mad and using the wrong terminology when you're upset. It's Boost. called communicate. You Boost need communication woman. in relationship. If you don't have no communication, then you don't have nothing. Lift your Period. woman. Boost your woman. Work right. together. Have sex. Fuck. Sex. Crack. Whatever you want to call it. Do that shit. Different places. It ain't got to be always sex. in the bedroom. It can be in the kitchen. It can be in the laundry room. In the it shower. can be outside. It can be in the bed. <laughs> <In the bar. laughs> it can be anywhere. Um, okay. You know? And I'm going to leave you with this sex facts and then we out of here. Pay attention to your partner. These signs. They will let you know when they are happy or they are not. If you don't fix these problems, someone else will. So, tell them where they can follow you, reach you. Guess what I got? I didn't know y'all be going as ham on there as y'all be going. Yes, but they I do. have Twitter. <laughs> Live God Gambini, G A W D is how I spell God. You can catch her on there. Luscious Kisses One. Uh, I'm all over the place now. As soon as I get this IG unblocked. I'm on IG. Uh, my Facebook is Ricky Gambini. It's a temporary page, but I love it. Might keep it. Um, catch me at Club Seduction, 6820 Eastern Avenue, right here in Baltimore City. I'm all over the place. Book me for modeling gigs. I did a real good promo video the other day. Oh, my God. I got to send you some clips. Oh, man. It was Just good. post it. It was good, man. It was nice. She, Just ain't, post it. she, ain't, she ain't put it out yet. Just, I'll wait till you post but it. It was real. I do some promo videos, modeling, sipping paints. Every, I'm not a stripper. Stop fucking asking me to strip. I have. If I was a stripper, I'd be rich right now. That's what y'all. I'm not a stripper. Inbox me for any other type of situations except me physically being a stripper. Wow. You might as well be going one day. <laughs> but you are a model. So I understand. And then y'all can also follow my new page. That's Luscious Kisses 1. Twitter, Luscious Kisses 1. Mm-hmm. Um, Facebook, I got a fan page. It's just Luscious Kisses. I really don't use it, but y'all can just follow me on there too. Also, my YouTube, I have back shows, I have music videos, I have interviews, I have um, reality shows on there, I have um, vlogs, I have all kinds of stuff on my um, YouTube, I can check that out, that is just YouTube, Luscious Kisses, please love, 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 share, and subscribe to my channel, um, yeah, then um, whatever else I got coming out, um, you know me, I always let you guys know, sure, um, got something yeah, there. Always do, yeah. All day that that product line. Uh, I am so patiently working on this because it's gonna be uh, not only the product, it's gonna be uh like sleepwear also that's gonna be going with that. So I'm actually working on this line and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm taking my time on pussy power because I really want my products to be like I said, amazing. Also, y'all can um follow my Instagram, um Pink Label Studio. Um, I also 
make clothes and shoes. I got my fur boots on, y'all can uh, see. I make those. Um, just a lot of stuff, you know, that we be selling on there. Y'all can also check check that stuff, check us out on there. Um, make sure y'all follow us on I Want Luscious TV on Instagram <laughs> and Facebook. We have a uh a, a group. I need to pay more attention to it, but follow us both on there and that's it. And you've been kissed by Luscious Kisses. Tune in every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Um, yeah, on ReadyOnFire.com. <laughs> Make sure y'all check us out. And, yeah. and stay live. Live God. Peace And up. always leave comments. We got you guys.